guys to the Spurgeon Piper. This is Wilson with you. So for the first tobacco review of 2023, we have Wessex Burley Slice. Wessex Burley Slice. And this is a blend I've been looking forward to reviewing. And for one reason, is because I'm about out of it. I have maybe two full flakes left. That's all you're going to be seeing. And I'm looking forward to just smoking the rest of this jar and moving onward and I guess putting something else in here. So uh, I want to give you my uh, thoughts on the blend first. I'm going to give you the background as I usually do and give you a look at it. And then I'll give you thoughts, comparisons, all that good stuff uh, that usually is in the rotation. So uh, let me give you the description of the blend. This comes off of tobaccoreviews.com, which is on back of the tin itself. And it's very simple. It just says uh, the tin now reads high quality flake of 100% burley. A slow combustion with a pleasant licorice taste. Very simple, isn't it? Um, the brand is Wessex, of course, manufactured by Kohlhaas and Kopp and Co. Uh, burley based, based uh, contents is burley. Uh, flavoring is licorice. It is a flake, comes in 50 gram tins, and production is currently available. Now, let me just give you some clarification if you're not aware. As of right now, you really can't find this on the market, um, at least in the United States. It's it's sold out. This is one of those blends is that's not it's not like a Penzance, you know, the Esoterica blends where they're very uh, you know quite rare. They drop and in a few hours they're out, right? Um, it's not that extreme, but it's more maybe like the Rat Race blends. I I would give it a comparison to where you know there's a few three four maybe five drops I don't know throughout the year. And they're around for a bit of time and, you know, slowly they kind of go away and they're unavailable. So it's, it's more like that. It, 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 it's, you know, Solani Age Burley Flake is a little similar um, as well on, on availability. So right now it's not available, but just keep your eye open. Uh, I'll just say it that way if you're interested in this blend. And eventually it will be available in places like the Country Squire, uh, Smoking Pipes, TobaccoPipes.com, Cup of Joe's, etc. Uh, probably your local tobacconist as well. And maybe there is one available at your local tobacconist. That's the beauty of uh, local uh, tobacco shops is sometimes they have these blends on the shelves and people just don't know to get them or pick them up. So check them out for sure. So there's background on the blend. Let's go ahead and get a look at the blend itself. All right, well, here we have Wessex Burley Slice. And as I mentioned, I have two full flakes left and I'm going to be done other than what I've already rubbed out. So uh, you you can tell a bit of the distinctions in the Burley. Uh, there is some dark fire Kentucky, I'm confident. It, you know, it just says Burley based, Burley based uh, and its contents are Burley. So I think there is some white Burley, some uh, you know darker uh, variety and then some dark fired in there. I'm pretty confident. I'll touch on that in the description. Um, the tin, tin note smells like a typical burly blend of molasses and um, earthiness, woodiness, things like that. It smells great. And it needs a bit of drying out time. So however you want to do that, uh, leave it all air, air dry for 10, 15 minutes um, after you rub it out or microwave it for 8 to 10 seconds, what have you. Uh, it does need a bit. I'll probably struggle with it a couple times as I make the video because it does need some drying out time. And I didn't dry it out. So uh, anyway fine looking blend all right so I have it loaded in my rat rays dark ale um, it's almost a full bow bowl but hey I've been smoking this I'm almost done with the tin as I said so uh, the uh, the notes and character and everything with it is is in my mind um, as I've been smoking a lot of it recently so uh, let me light it up again and we'll get started All right, so let me hit on the flavor first uh, because it mentions it has a licorice taste or liquor, licorice uh, topping or uh, flavoring. And if that concerns you, if you're not a big licorice guy or person, which I'm not a licorice person at all, I, I can't say, uh, especially like black licorice, uh, don't fret. It, it's not that noticeable. And even when you do notice it, and, and it is there, it's, it's in the back seat, if you want to say it that way. Um, it's, it's pleasant. It's fine. It's, it's not, a it's not taking a bite of licorice candy per se, but, uh, it is there just adding a bit of extra flavor 
uh, profile to the blend. Um, but man, one thing I notice up front is to, to kind of get away from the obvious, which I'll hit on the obvious notes that we think of Burley in a second. As there's a bit in the retro hell, there is a, a, a strong uh, spice hit um, that kind of reminds you of a dark fired Kentucky. Uh, though you don't have that barbecue taste of a dark fired Kentucky. So uh, that that's one aspect of the blend that is uh, evident. Whether you like that or not, I'm, I'm actually, you know, certainly fine with it. But uh, some of the more basic elements. It's a burly flake, quality, quality burly flake. Um, excellent um, notes of just earthiness, uh, the, the nuttiness, these things that we think of about burly. Um, like coffee, dark coffee notes. Um, molasses. Uh, so, so all those components we think of, but, but very qualities there, this blend. I mean, we... We can say that about some other blends, over-the-counter blends, what have you, that are burly based but, but as you know of other areas of life, um, those flavors are just more pronounced, and you can tell there's a quality about them. So fantastic, uh, fantastic blend and, and bringing those qualities up to the front. Um, if you wanted to compare it to... Uh, Folgers coffee to a, you know, a single sourced coffee bean from, you know, Kenya or Nicaragua or, uh, you know, craft beer to Bud Light. I don't know, what have you. So that, that's what I would give it a comparison to is similar, some similar flavors, but you just more pronounced, more quality. It's hard to say much else. Um, in in one sense, it's a basic blend, but it but it's not basic in a negative way. It's uh, it does very well what's basic. It, it it does very well what it brings to the table, and it of course brings to mind how does this compare to other burly blends? And and that was something that made me pop this tin late last year. Is I I had open hiking by uh, cobblestone which i did a review i i've had pulled out of the cellar my last tin of h burley flake and i wanted to compare these three because they are some of the more well-knowns or some of the well uh touted burley flakes out there i know you have h and h burley flake i know that and uh it's a fine blend but i feel like these are more burly pure burley blends right and i wanted to compare them all three so how do they compare maybe that's what you're thinking maybe you're curious which one do I go to? All three. I, I think they're all three quality blends. I would purchase all three of them in a heartbeat. I plan to purchase all three in a heartbeat. Um, I would still put Age Burley Flake ahead of Solani's Age Burley Flake ahead of the other two. Right? Confident of that too, or of that. But when it comes to second and third, of whether hiking or Wessex Burley Slice, which one goes first, and uh, second or third? I, it, it's. It's a toss-up. I don't know. Uh, maybe it depends on the day. Um, I feel like Wessex Burley Slice is a bit stronger, but not as flavorful than like H Burley Flake. It's stronger maybe than Hiking. So take that for what you will. I I, I don't know. And and if I if I reviewed and I just smoked uh, filled a bowl of uh, Hiking again, maybe I change my mind. I you know I don't know. They're just so similar. You're we're really pulling hair. So I I wouldn't concern. Uh, so much about well, which one should I get if they're both available pick both up or just focus on one whatever But I highly recommend this. This is a excellent burly blend uh, Nine out of ten for me. Uh, I really love this I do plan on getting more of this because I'm just really enjoying in this time of year this time of life What have you uh, I'm in a season of loving quality pure burly flakes There's not so many out there like that there. So there's a lot of mixtures of Vapors and Virginia Burley Periques or what have you, but I'm wanting a lot of times just a pure Burley blend and this does it for me. So I, I'd encourage you to check it out, keep your eye open when they do get available and uh, pick yourself some up. It's well worth the probably a couple dollars more than usual uh, compared to some other blends. So 
There you have it, guys. If you have had Wessex Burley Slice, let me know your comments below, your thoughts below. Let others know, and that way they have a variety of opinions to check out. All right? That's all I have this week, guys. Uh, maybe a little bit shorter of a review, but it's pretty simple blend, but uh, quite well worth it in my opinion. So I hope you're blessed. I hope you have a really great week, and we'll talk to you soon.